Hello and welcome back to A Clash of Kings. I am Brenner the Burnt. And let's get to it. I've got some looters here cornered. Not many of them. We out they outnumber us, but it doesn't matter. They're gonna die. I have the unsullied with me. And right now my goal is just to get some experience for me. Gain some coin. So I can go and recruit some more people to my little merry, merry little band. Now, this is a slow process. Now, I don't really want to go to war with all the outlaws out there. You probably want to ally with them, help them out in battles, so they don't attack me. But, to be honest, everyone is like, you know free on the market in terms to uh, rob, including outlaws, so I don't want to cross them off my list just yet. Well, I'm going down, but luckily the Unsullied are here. They're just standing back watching. Oh, health, that's not good. Oh, that was a lucky swing. The reach on this weapon I've got is appalling, but luckily for me, these guys are just going to clean up the enemy nicely, and I'll just take what's left from the battlefield. I actually have a couple of prisoners, sell swords, uh, swordsmen, so we'll be able to recruit them as well, which is good. Now, unfortunately, the unsullied seller has left. He's no longer in that tavern, so... Somewhat annoying, but I'm going to have to track him down. Although I can uh, hire cell swords, that will work as well. And once I've got a few more, I'll probably start hitting the various... Uh, villages in the area make some uh, money that way problem is trying to sell this stuff I'm actually running out of room the traders are running out of room so I can't sell okay let's visit the tavern once more I should also point out that there's always a bard playing music here, which is a nice little addition. See, I could hire all three of them, but I just don't know if I want any horsemen. But you know what? It probably wouldn't hurt. <coughs> We're going to need these people. Anyway, I'm going to make my way out. I want to hit another town to see what they've got in uh, the tavern. Let's head to Sea Watch. I'm not entirely sure if it's a castle or a town. We'll soon find out. Now, I don't want to leave this area just yet because, as I've said before, eventually you just run out of looters and you can never find them. So, it's somewhat of a pain. Weekly wage for these guys is quite high. I may just let them go once they die because that's going to take a lot of my money. I'm better to have infantry that costs, you know, like 30 a week rather than 100. That's quite a big difference. Storm's End. That should actually be a, a town. Let's have a look. Nope, it's a castle. Okay. So, my current position, I could make my way over to King's Landing, see what they've got going on there. Keep a lookout for raiders as well. I 
So these outlaws were, outlaws were the ones I was talking about. The outlaw leader in particular is fairly hard to defeat, at least early on. Although with my current sort of group, I might not have much of an issue, but we'll see. Yeah, there's a lot of them here, so I don't want to be... I guess I'm going to help out the, this dude here, just because it will give me access to their loot once they're dead. <laughs> but I didn't really get much from that, it was a bit of a waste. Plus, let's be honest, the Lannisters are uh, a nasty bunch. So that will probably work well for me, not that I want to ally with them. But oh boy, there's a lot of outlaws. Now these honourable men are what are considered manhunters in native. And unhonourable men are basically deserters, so it's worth keeping that in mind. Okay, so I want to... Don't actually want to buy anything. I'd like to visit the the tavern though. Now you can pick up quest lines in this game. There are quest lines, so it's worth pointing that out. And there is one here I could pick up, although I'd have a hard time completing it. But I wonder if I can actually start this. You'll see a familiar face here soon. Or not. Okay. So, I think I need to go to the castle for this. Now, I'm wondering if I should take it or not. I don't think I can complete it. And then I'll just end up getting knocked out. But I suppose we could try. Show you a lot what one of the quest lines looks like. So if we make our way to the castle in King's Landing, you'll see a bunch of familiar faces. There's people here who will tell you the history of the house, the location and so on. So for example we've got Lancel Lannister, Grandmaster Pycelle, King Joffrey, Cersei Lannister, Amanda Moore, who's like a guard, then we got Lord Varys and Lord Peter Baelish, the two kids, and over here we've got good old Bronn. Now I can actually get a task from him. He tells me where Lord Tyrion is. And we'll go to the uh have in here and hopefully if you go upstairs into the back room where I was where I was earlier we should be able to find him yes here we go Tyrion Lannister everyone's favorite imp now I can get a task from him And he basically wants you to assassinate one of the relatives. I don't know if it's one of the relatives or one of the lords that belong to the Lannisters. And this guy is a guy who's basically spreading rumours about King Joffrey. And the lord's uncle actually tipped off Tyrion about this. So now he needs eliminating. Now, th this is kind of an interesting feature to the game where you have these quest lines, and I know there's quite a few of them. I don't want to spoil it. I don't know actually what they are, but I know one way you can get a particular item, which sounds pretty cool, but I don't want to talk about it yet. But I, as I said, I've remade this series a couple of times, and it's not easy. And this particular fight is fairly tricky, depending on the gear you have. And you don't take anyone with you, you go on your own. So, 
I don't know if I'll be able to complete this just because I've got really bad gear. But we'll see, I'll give it a go. So what happens is we go up here and there's going to be a bunch of guards. And they're not triggered at first, but once I get so close, they'll start attacking. Now the issue comes from the fact that I've got to kill them before I can get to the Lord inside. And there's like two archers, one archer, and then like three just guards. Now this guy doesn't attack me at first. I have to actually get up here and then these guys will start attacking me. To just start it off. Yep, there we go. But what you want to do is you want to run back here and try and get this guy. Try and do as much damage as you can. As you can see, there's a lot of them. Now I can try and get away here. Do ring the ring around, around the roses here. Or you can just jump on these rocks, I found out, which is quite nice. Just to break up the enemy. Luckily for me, my axe is pretty decent. Because I had two shields, I was able to take most of the hits. There's still another guy coming. I can still lose this. I'm taking a lot of hits. Now. I'm too slow. But what I'll probably do is take someone's gear if I can. The other guy hasn't attached yet, so... I can actually shield bash with this uh, shield too. Ooh, that was close. It's not over yet, but that was very close. So, grab all the shields I can. I'm going to drop this spear, probably grab this sword. I've got little to no health now, but I think that's most of the guards. Wait, was that a... Oh, Christ, that would have been bad. He was right behind me. There we go. Down he goes. Now we've got some of the servants coming out. Check their lord. We're gonna kill everyone here, slaughter them. Man or woman, doesn't matter. But that's the guards done. He's actually got a sword. That's the Lord we need to kill. Of course, if he hits me with that sword, I'm done for. There we go. I think that's everyone. Now this guy is the uncle that basically grassed him up. So... A job well done, I say. Now I can make my way back to... Lord Tyrion and get paid. I should also point out that when you go to King's Landing and you talk to Cersei or King Joffrey, you can join them. But not only that, when you do join them, you're actually given like items, which are jewels and coins, which you can sell, which are worth quite a bit. So if you would need to make some money early on, joining them would be quite good. There's a tournament going on, which I normally jump on whenever I get the chance. However, 
you have to use your own weapons and you're fighting some pretty strong people so I don't recommend it if I'm totally honest anyway let's get rewarded Okay, so I forgot to mention this. Doing these quests, you get rewards, and I actually got a really, really nice reward from doing this. Which is this heavy plated armor. Now, I'm probably going to keep it for now just because it's really good stats, but I can't use it because it requires a lot of strength, but. I mean, I could always sell it, but I think I'm going to keep it with me. I've got to make sure I don't get killed, though, because if I get killed and lose it, it's gone. And that would suck. But, uh, I actually leveled. I've got a couple of points I could put in the strength. In fact, one more point, I'll actually be able to wear that set. I believe it was 14, unless it was 13 and I misread. But anyway, I'll put point in Power Strike, and then another point into shield it's important to have my shield at a decent level I'll also put another point into riding soon and then I'll probably put a few more points into charisma get my leadership skill up and then we'll start looking at agility yeah one more point now the question is who do I fight because this area is crawling with fairly hard to kill people. What I need to do is find some companions to join me. I think that's going to be important. Now one of the cool things is that... Uh oh. 11 versus 17. This isn't going to be easy. I'm hoping my mounted crossbowmen don't get killed. But what? And I've got 50% health, damn it. You see what's gonna happen? Is they're gonna come for me? Mounted. Why are you using spears? Alright, let's see what I can do. Well, I'm hoping that my own will just... Just like... Mob up in the group. Maybe I'll get back over there and help them. We're actually doing quite a bit of damage. The Unsullied and the Cell Sword. The cell Swords are doing a good job. the outlaw leader. He's not as heavily armoured but he's got a nasty, nasty weapon and he seems to be doing bad things to my group. Luckily most people have just been knocked unconscious. Okay, now they're dying. I do have a spear, don't I? Got about that. So I think this has horse damage where your horse slows down if he gets injured. So what I really need to do is just try and take out their horses. So I can pick off the enemy. Oh my guys are still alive. Unfortunate that was. 
So yeah, this is what I mean. The outlaws in this game are very hard to kill. I only lost money, that's good, but yeah, they are extremely hard to kill. The Unsullied did a great job, and the Elite uh, elite Swordsman. Sorry, the Cell Sword Swordsman. So hiring mercenaries is definitely the way to go. Just sadly, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And they have a lot of my troops. Now, I could go after them, but... I mean, what do they have? Wow, the Unsullied joined them. No way. No way. So the thing is, I could turn around and fight them and just pick them off, but... I can't believe the Unsullied joined them. I guess the Unsullied will just fight for whoever. That's kind of annoying. There's Harren Hall. The Isle of Faces. I wonder how we get there. So you'll get these random little ruins in the world where sometimes there's someone there. Anyway, I didn't lose any of my armor, which is good. I've still got most of my money. Visit the green men. Interesting. So you get a bit of a uh, bit of information when you talk to these guys, but there's not much else here. Anyway, that was an unfortunate fight, but uh, I need to sort of get back on the horse now. You intercept the Raven. A message is tied to its leg. It urges all loyal lords to support Renly Bar uh, Baratheon as the only true king of the Seven Kingdoms. Okay. I need to find another town and hit up the ta uh, the tavern. That's the issue, there's not many, and it's hard to tell which ones are actually towns and which ones are castles. See, to me, that looks like a town. Let's see if this theory holds true. It is indeed, okay. So Drollo, who's Drollo? Ha! Huh. I assume he's going to be a trainer of sorts. Now the question is, is he going to have a problem if I raid towns? He says he wants to make sure people are disciplined. I ain't got a problem with that, but uh, as mostly I'll be hiring cell swords and that, but I don't know. I just figure he's going to have an issue if I start raiding towns. Alright, we'll hire these guys. I'll keep my money for now. I think what I need to do is hit the taverns, recruit mercenaries, and then we'll worry about what to do next afterwards. So I was right, all the all the castles actually look like castles and anything that's actually a a town looks like a town. So my question is, I guess we go to King's Landing again, hopefully the people in the tavern have reset. I 
I think things will be slightly easier once I have one more level and I have that heavy armor on it. I wonder if I, I do want to try though what happens with the unsolid because if I could give, give the unsolid that armor to see if they just wear it and it goes for all of them, that would be interesting. <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure how it works. Yeah, we'll hire him. Westerland's levy is basically a king, a, uh, a part of the Lannisters in terms of soldier troop, I mean, so in terms of troop trees, and I rather just have you know mercenaries to help me. So that's what I'm going to aim for. I think I'm going to head back up towards the one tower I was at. Gotta be careful of these raiders though. I don't fancy my chances against them. Now I would like to attack one of these caravans but I'm not entirely sure I'd be able to uh, beat them. But there's a lot of enemies just roaming around in this area so I do have to be careful. Anyway, I think I'm gonna call it here work out my next plan of action and uh, yeah we'll take it from there anyway that's it for now thank you for watching and uh, join me again goodbye